Well, I would say good afternoon, but we are now into the even time, it's 20 past 6. Um, I have been here since about 2 o'clock, I uh, had a look around and they decided they're going to fish into the point, which is not my usual swim of fish down here, by the way, my, my fault. Uh, we're all to be whole fisheries as well. Here for the next 48 hours, might push a day after, we'll just see how it all pans out. Um, and it'll be my first second session since the 24 hour this year sorry started to do that again this year uh, done 24 hours I think about two two three months ago something like that I can't remember now and uh, this is actually the proper session so we're now into July in fact it's come to the end of July it is rather warm it is had a bit of cloud earlier on and uh, and now it's sort of gone a bit of a clear sky and the wind is quite pleasant to keep you nice and cool because it is like I said quite warm. I think it's about 20, 22 degrees or something like that anyway. So yeah, a cup of coffee. Didn't film this afternoon because Tom had got me set up and that and this out and the other. Got the rods out there. Um, Tom ticked on and you know, I just sort of sat back and chilled out. I'm here today as well with, with old skin Bob. He's uh, trying to look as cool, oh, yeah. as, cool as possible. And uh, yeah, so we're here together in the, in the what they call the point. Like I have fished this before, but it's a very long time ago. Normally I fish the peg next down as a swamp, as, even, as a, my personal favourite to go into. But there is actually someone there this time. So, so yeah, unless anything happens between now and tomorrow, or first thing in the morning, um, I'll call this the first intro and uh, sit back, drink my cup of coffee, and have a social skin bob. So therefore, speak to you either later on tonight, or first thing in the morning, or <laughs> some point tomorrow. So, uh, at normal, I'll set you out to there, look out there. I'm not sure if you can see the rods or not. Just about. Oh, good morning. Uh, obviously, nothing happened last night. I think I had about one. And beep, and that's about it. The reason I'm talking quietly is because it's getting me still asleep. But now, it's uh, 6 o'clock, I think. Uh, sorry, 7 o'clock. So, been up since about 6 ish, give or take. Had my first cup of the day. Yeah, nothing much to report. I've just repositioned my left hand rod in the tree at the back. It was also a bit later on. I've put some pop-ups on as well. So apart from that, that must report. No. Pardon. Mm, reasonably good night's sleep. No, yeah, so I haven't been up long anyway. About an hour. So yeah, I thought just a quick, quick update this morning. And, uh, drink that. That's breaky. Uh, and have a rethink of the rest of the day. Just a quick update. Basically, what I got here to show you very quickly is the old traditional standard, my standard pop up rig. It's basically got a reasonably long length, two and a half ounce lead, lead clip system, obviously. Bit of putty, which I'll just modify in a minute. That's the Think Link um, soft camo, really green, I think it is. Size 6 curved shank cryogen hook, barbless, because it's a barbless reel in here. And I put on a um, pineapple and butterick 16mm popper. And I'll put it with a bit of a hemp, not hemp, uh, pellet and um, some glugged up uh, middle of boilies, so you've got a bit of visualisation. Basically, that's a strip back there, is stripped back to give me a bit more grip on that so the putty don't slide up and down. And that's my general purpose pop up rig. The reason I have it like that is because it's adjustable and I can use it to any kind of bottom bait, pop up, wafter, whatever rig I want to do. Probably my most go to rig, to be honest with you. 
It's as simple as that. Nothing complicated. Very, very simple. Right, well, I'm back. It's 11 o'clock. Uh, we have a small shower of rain upon us, so hopefully that might spur them on a little bit. Not saying it will, not saying it won't, but uh, we'll see what happens. Um, skin has finally awoken <laughs> and rebating up and doing pretty much what I've done a little while ago. Uh, and hopefully, like I said, hopefully this rain or well, small little shower has uh, come in. Might just drop that temperature down a bit, or the, or the um, uh, what do you call it? Thingy Bob. What do you want to call it? To high pressure. <laughs> uh, yeah, hopefully I might just drop it down a little bit enough to put their heads down, but who knows? We'll see. Uh, at the minute, that's pretty much all I can do. Like I said, it's now, come, it's now ten past eleven, so we've got this afternoon tonight and till tomorrow, two, two o'clock tomorrow. Might stay another night, I don't know yet. We haven't really decided. We're just going to see how tonight go and make that decision tomorrow. And uh, basically sort of go from that, to be fair. So at the minute, that's pretty much all I can say. Uh, apart from one or two fish jumping last night. I think one or two early hours of this morning. But that's been it. I haven't seen anything cruising around or whatsoever. So, we'll just sort of, like I said before, play it by ear and go by what, what we can do. Uh, yeah. That's all I can say at the minute. So, on that note, I will carry on just washing the water and hope this rain is spurring on a little bit. Hopefully we'll get one on the on the on the on the, on the bank. Keep my reputation of a catch of a non-blank on this lake. But it is what it is. So right, you might notice <laughs> we got a little bit of rain. This has just come out of the blue, literally. I had a feeling it would be because it's sort of a bit of a build up to it, and all of a sudden, yeah, it just yeah, it just come down. Right, the time is four o'clock. So I'm now putting in the. As you can see, I've got the clear panel on. I'm in the letter box. Just to keep that out a little bit. So yeah. And a small rumble of thunder is in the background. So we could be in for a bit more of this later on. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that, but that's been looming for a little while. Anyway, just a quick update. So like I say, it's now four o'clock, and uh, yeah, it's what we've got. So, I'll leave it there, and I'll get back to you later. So it is now just six o'clock, and gone. Uh, did do no recording last evening, simply because nothing happened. Uh, or yesterday afternoon, evening, nothing happened. It was just a, a wet, rainy, off, on, off, on, off. So it was busy by most of the time anyway. And then when it did stop, <laughs> they're talking skinny for a few hours in the evening. And before we knew it, it was uh, getting about midnight, so it's a bit late doing things. You wouldn't see nothing anyway. However, this morning, at about four o'clock, or just before four o'clock, the left hand rod screamed off. Uh, had a little fight and unfortunately the little bugger got off. Six o'clock, or just before six o'clock this morning, which is the reason why I'm up, because I was in the land of Nod. The right hand one with the blood worm, just in the reed, uh, went off. Now it's fairly locked up, but unfortunately he managed to get himself into the little reed bed and I come back, everything come back, unfortunately the fish did not. So he done a little uh, Houdini trick, shall we say. And uh, so yeah, so I have two runs and I have two losses. <sighs> Unfortunately that is how it goes sometimes, but there's nothing I can do about it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sit here and drown my sins in a, or sorrows in a cup of coffee. And uh, try and wake up a little bit. <laughs> right, so that's all I can say at the minute. And uh 
unfortunately that's how it goes sometimes. But at least I had two runs, that's, 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 that's the main thing. So, right, I'll stop me waffling on, whack the old kettle on, and have a cup of own, basically, from that. So, I'll speak to you a little bit later. Alright, oh good morning again. Um, nothing has occurred this morning, it's now coming up to well, just gone half past nine. Um, as you see, packed down is it in pro progress. And I've just got a few bits and pieces put away, the grind sheet in my body bag and whatnot, and this, that, and the other. And that's it. So that'll be it for me. However, despite it being two runs, two misses, is classed as a blank, but I, at least I had two runs. That means the, the rigs were right, working, the bait was right, and the, the two spots I had were right. So that, that's a learning curve. So if I land them, it'd have been awesome, but I didn't. Uh, like I said, no, I would have gone to about 12 o'clock, but because the swim has now been reserved for someone else, uh, I feel like I pack away nice and early so we can get in here, skip stuff set up, because it's supposed to rain this afternoon, and obviously you don't want to be set up in the rain, so. Uh, considering me, I think I thought. However, it has been a blank, but it has been a good social as well. And uh, the good old team work was skinny, a bit of a laugh and a joke, like you do. And uh, yeah, and so on that's quite a note. If anything happens to me now and the time that I go, obviously it'll be what it is. It'll be a blank, but I had two runs and missed two. Not a big issue, but it's how it goes sometimes, and that's, that's how it is. Uh, but however, I've had fun, it's been enjoyable, and that's the main thing. So until next time, uh, I hope you enjoyed this, what seems to me like a bit of a weird video, but you know, it's how it goes sometimes. I haven't done much recording because not a lot has happened, so however, I shall stop me waffling on. I'm going to give you a thumbs up, and uh, so hopefully see you next time to wherever that may be, because at the minute I haven't got a clue. Right, so 